Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to our new YouTube channel, T Mac Made It. I'm Marcus Mac and my wife, T Mac, and uh, we're about to teach you how to make a t shirt from start to finish. Uh, I'm the man behind the camera, and she's the brains and beauty, so I'm going to hand it over to her. Go ahead, T Mac. Hey, y'all. So, what we're going to do is what we're doing today is a t shirt. We're going to use Jet Opaque paper. This is an image, a Halloween image that I got off of Etsy. And I see that you can see that the image has enlarged. This is what it will look like once it comes off of Etsy. It is a PNG file. So what we're gonna do is, you see how this white is around this image? We don't want that. So what we're going to do is, after we have already uploaded it, we're going to trace it. We're gonna come over to our fork panel and we're going to use the open trace panel. We're going to open it up. We're going to select the trace area. We're going to put a nice box around it. Then it will turn yellow. Once it turns yellow, we're going to do this threshold and we're just going to keep moving it over until the whole image is pretty much highlighted in yellow. And then we're going to do a trace and detach. Once we go down to Trace and Detach, and it has updated, if you could see, we have moved it. We have taken away that white box that was around the image. Where did that box go? Good that you asked that. It's right here. It's highlighted and shaded. So once we put a box around that area, we're just going to hit the Delete button, okay? How do you know it's gone? Is because when you put that trace around it, nothing is pretty much, nothing is highlighted, okay? What we're gonna do next is I want to get rid of the white that's here, okay? I'm gonna keep that white there, but this white I wanna remove and this white I wanna remove. So we're gonna do something that's a little bit different. We're gonna use the same trace panel button. We're gonna select trace by color. We're gonna select that box and we're just gonna put our arrow here. Sometimes depending upon the image, you may have to do it once or twice. We're gonna use the same tolerance button until it, that area is filled and we're gonna do a trace and detach, okay? And we're just gonna click that right on out of there. We're gonna enlarge it to do the exact same thing for the area, the other area that we were speaking of. Trace by color, highlight, use your tolerance, and hit detach. And then we're just going to move that out the way. Oh, uh, babe, let me interrupt for a second before we get too deep. I don't know if you said it or not, but what program are you working with and what cutter? I'm using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition Plus and the cutter that I will be using today. Well, I haven't really decided if I want to use a cutter or if I just want to do the sublimation. So, but right now... What we're working with is a design studio just to design what we want to get how we want it to look. So this is what it's gonna look like. The shirt that I will be using will be a black shirt. So let's do this. Let's see how it's gonna look on a black shirt. Uh-oh. Yeah, sometimes I do fumble, but there we go. I don't like that red line around there. And we're just gonna, uh-oh, what happened? It left. No, I didn't. You're just going to go up here to object, arrange, bring to the front. There you go. Bam. So that's what it's going to look like on our black t-shirt. So you right, baby. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this image, but I'm going to put my words in heat transfer vinyl and HTV. HTV, heat transfer vinyl. And I'm gonna do my words in white. And let's see, what was the words that she wanted? Teamwork uh, makes the screen work. She 
She wants screaming all. Yeah, that'd be cool. You got uh, creative control. Okay. Let's see. Take that S out. Okay. So let's take this and let's work with some of the fonts. So I do have some Halloween fonts somewhere here in my font thing over here. I see you, baby. You own it. I thought I was going to have to remind you. What? Halloween font. No, you have to remind me. Remind me of what? Okay. Y'all see how this red is? The reason why it's red that's around, let me enlarge it so you can see it. The reason why it's red around here is it's, got, it's used as an outline. And what your outline is for is, say for instance, it was no color. Okay. Say if you want to use the color white. Well, white don't show on white on this screen. You just lost it. So this is used as, as an outline. There you go. So we can see. So let's see. I might want to put that right there. And I think I kind of like that the way it is. Bring it up. Now, sometimes I fumble with my stuff, but I promise you at the end, it's going to get it's going to be done. Okay, so I know you see how if I enlarge this, you could see that the E is going into the A here and the A is going into the M, all that good stuff, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to weld them together. And once I weld them together, then that's going to go away. So I highlight my box here. I'm going to go, to, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit weld. And then I'm going to hit group. And then I'm going to enlarge so you could see that it's all going in together. So that makes it a lot better. Okay. So that's what we're going to do on our black shirt, our pretend black shirt. Screen works, make the dream works. And I may just go ahead and break it up. I haven't figured it out yet, but I just wanted to give you an idea as far as how it's going to look. Let's take that red out. Come on. There we go. So what I may end up doing is leaving teamwork at the top, put the screen work up under the van and figure out what I'm going to do with Let me ungroup this, put screen work together, group and I can bring this down. Uh-oh, hold on. I didn't attach everything. Y'all see that? Let me enlarge it. I left out the little screen thingy, so we're going to group that together. So we're going to ungroup. I'm going to get that, and we're going to group that together. Up. Oh. See, sometimes it just don't, it don't work the way you want it to work. You may have to keep doing it, but, or you can just retype it the way you want to.
Okay, and since all that typing, you like, T-Mac, I forgot what font that I used. You just go back over to your fonts and it's gonna tell you right here under recent use. I used that one, see? Recent use. There you go. So let's get rid of that one. We're gonna change the color. Go over here to the panel, the color panel. And we're gonna select white. Same thing for that one, same thing for that one. So let's go ahead and put it together, shall we? I want this, so we're gonna go to object, align, align center. I want it to be kind of in the middle. gonna work we're gonna take the and we're just gonna group it together okay y'all that's the black shirt ta-da what do you think so this is what you will actually send to your your customers your friends your hobbyists whatever you want to do how whoever you're making it for and you're gonna show them this as a mock-up. And they will say yay or nay. Once they say yay, then we're gonna go ahead and go to the next process. So what I'm getting ready to do is go ahead and send this to my customer to see, make sure this is what she wants. She approves it once she's approving it. Once she has approved it, then we will come back to the next step. So welcome to, um, see, I just T messed Mac up. Made it. T, T, Mac, T Mac made it. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. We'll be back with part two. Peace. Okay, what we're doing right now to go ahead and save time, I have already started a print and cut. I've also uh, cut out my HTV vinyl to use. So what I've done is I've ran the Jet OP paper through my sublimation printer. Yes, you can do sublimation on Jetto Peak, I prefer to do sublimation on Jetto Peak versus putting it through my inkjet printer. Only because it's larger sizes, you have better options at doing that. So what I'm gonna get ready to do, you see you still have your registration marks here as well as registration marks on the paper, here, 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 and that's it. Okay, so do not make any changes to your image we're just going to click off. Don't move. This is the only thing that you're going to move. I can tell you that print and cut is not my best friend. However, we're going to make it do what it do when it needs to be done. Okay. So we're going to use cardstock card plane. Let's turn this force down. That force is kind of high. I don't want it to cut through my blade. I mean my mat. Let's turn it down. Okay, so this is what we want to print. So we're gonna see, we're gonna cross our fingers and see if it's gonna go ahead and register. Let's go, let's see. Cameraman. It's reading. It should read down here. Yes, my mat is kind of used, but I have actually uh, sprayed some adhesive stick on there to make it stick to the paper. So that's a sign showing you that it is okay for the cut. And it's getting ready to start cutting, tracing it out. <laughs> 
out, outlining it. If you look in from here, it looks as if it's kind of off because you're looking at the big circle part here. But there is a little tiny needle that's in there and it's actually outlining. So I guess I should have went ahead and preheat heat my printer, but I don't want it to be too hot in here. Heat press bag. What I say? Primer. Oh yeah. See, that's why I need you in here, cause you be you be keeping me on it. Teamwork makes dream work. Not, yeah. Not the screen work like the shirt. Yeah, this is a switch shop. You be having me in here working. Cracking that whip. Oh, I might like that. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Hold on. I ain't ready for that video. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna unload it. We're gonna close the top. We're gonna go over here to my table. You can kind of hear it crunching, scrunching or whatever. And if you could see the lines, it has actually cut around the image how I wanted it. So I'm gonna grab some scissors and I'm gonna lay it on the, I'm gonna lay it on the shirt. We don't need that. Let me get my area kind of tidy. Cut it on. So while it's heating up, let me turn the temperature down. The temperature that we're gonna, the temperature that we're gonna do it on is 325. And I just do it at 25 minutes. That's it. Sorry, it was going along because I was actually sublimating. So, you say, Tasha, why don't you use the sublimation heat at 400? Well, for this, you really don't have to. Tell them what size heat press that is, babe. This is a 16 by 20. So, I should be able to go ahead and get everything that I need done. So, you have to be very careful with your with your printing i mean with your pulling because when you pull it up sometimes it may uh tear and you definitely don't want it to to do that so you just kind of bend it a little bit and it's actually pulling up with the paper which that's what i don't want but i'm gonna keep trying different ways and there it is it's actually pulling up and like i said just be careful just be careful with it and it's gonna pull out what everything that you want so again don't rip it but just go see how i just ripped it I just did what I said not to do, but that's okay. So, because what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to start from a different angle and we're going to end up coming around. I'm going to hold it down. Let me see. I just, I just said, let me, I just said that. So, let's see if we can do it from here. We're still safe as long as we don't do another another rip, but it will lay down perfect. I would not suggest you have a lot of rips, but what we could do is see if we could go ahead and save it. Because this paper is very, very, very thin.
this. It is definitely making me work for the work for the money. She work hard for the money. Do 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 do. So hard for the money. Do 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 do. She work hard for the money. No, oh. Notice I, I notice I uh, I saw you start humming. You know that's what we do once we we know the beat. Sometimes we just don't know the words. Is it coming? Is it it's coming? It is coming. So I can go all the way across here. And then once I get to the edges, I can just take my time and just pull up. Right where I kinda divided it just a little bit. Bam, there we go. There we go, right there. This is the not line. This is trash. So this is the shirt. And this, the good part about the Jet OP, don't get it too close to the heat because it will start doing what it's supposed to do is melting and all that good stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull the shirt out and we're just going to lay it down. So what about them wrinkles? They don't need to be pressed out before? Yeah, we're gonna definitely take care of that. Definitely I'm saying before we press shirt? it, or it's going. Oh yeah. It's, it's, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. the people know. This is just this is just visual. I'm a visual person. All right, I'm just so, saying. Of course, this is what you want to do. You want to use your fingers and kind of measure. You don't want to be too close to the neck because you don't want the words way up here. Haven't you seen them people with them words way up there? Oh, I don't like that. Okay. So that's a good start right there. Just an inch right there. Uh oh, we got some vinyl. The song, my heat press is at 217. With the larger heat press, it does take a little bit more time for it to, to heat up. So what do you what do you think? What you think about it? Looks good? Looking good. Okay. Okay. So we are going to pre-press it. It's okay for us to go ahead and press the wrinkle out. I'm going to leave. I'm going to put this on the other side so I can make sure there's no vinyl or anything. Tell me, bro, you could kind of pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop the shirt. And we're just going to... Press it just for a little bit. I don't need these scissors anymore. I'm gonna get them out the way. And I'm gonna also show y'all like a cheap way. If you want to know, there are so many things out there, and I ain't knocking nothing as far as what's out there. Whatever you need to help you. But in the meantime, if you're say if you're doing a large t-shirt and you want to know what the center is, on a heat press, you really can't tell what the center is. So what you're gonna do. Just take the shirt and just fold it arm to arm and just lay it down. And that heat is going to press it. And that'll give you your little cheap center line. It may not go all the way or it may go all the way. So again, what we're gonna do is press everything at 325 for 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes, I forget what I actually said it on. But it's one of them. Five, five seconds is, did I say minutes? 
Oh, that, that shirt will be crisp and burnt. Seconds. 325 for 20 or 25 seconds. I have to just catch myself. Cameraman, you fired. You didn't even tell me what I said. It's all good. We ain't perfect, but we're going to get it right. Okay. So you see that line going down the middle there? So that gives you like your little your little guide. So it's still not ready yet. It's at three, it's at 265. So we have to let it heat up just a little bit more. But I can go ahead and put it on the on a heat press. I don't want to just Note to self, next video, preheat the heat press. Yeah, preheat, preheat, preheat. But, I um I like to cut all of my stuff at one time and then heat it, uh, press everything at one time. I don't like to cut, press, cut, press, cut, press, because this does take a lot of energy and then in the summer times it get hot. So what I'm doing, I'm just making sure that it's on the thing correctly, on a heat press correctly. What I have, you probably thinking, what is that scrunchy stuff you got down there up under your shirt? I just have some uh, parchment paper, just some regular parchment paper that I use because I supplement a lot. And if you get ink, on your heat press it does bleed through your uh t-shirts and stuff so that's definitely not good which parchment paper this is parchment paper just some regular parchment paper you can get from the grocery store you can get some butcher paper i have some butcher paper down here that does the exact same thing so let's go ahead and see how it's doing it's at 294 right now We're waiting for it to get to 325. It's almost there. It's at 298, guys. But while we're waiting, I just want to for, just... Hold on. For, for time's sake, go ahead and see what it does. What? To get the wrinkles out. Because we, we, this video is going on a little bit longer than we want. Yes, we know, sir. We know y'all got a short attention span. We're trying to make it as speedy as possible. Short, they just want to see what's, people don't have what's going long on. attention spans these days, babe. Come on now, okay. I'm sorry, I, you know, I just get all into I it once I start. That, that, that's lovely, babe. That's lovely. Once I get started, you, you can't shut me off. You can't shut me off. Well, that's what I'm here for. That's why we're a team. Sometimes, yeah, okay. Is that better? It's gonna have to do. They understand the goal. All right, all right, all right. So, like I was saying, please make sure that you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you share this video. We're at 312, y'all, so it's almost there. So, what I could do is I can go ahead and start. Just lining it up. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt this. Anyway. It's not going to hurt it. It will hurt this. It can't be on there too long. So I'm going to just go ahead and switch this up. Because I want it to be all on one thing. Okay, you hear that little beeping sound? Well, not beeping sound, that little sound is there. Okay, so let me just go ahead and put my Teflon on there. And I'm gonna just press this real quick because I think that it's gonna start going up just a little bit. So I'm gonna press, I don't want it to go into the letters all the way. So you can't, combine. you can usually combine everything together, but when you start seeing how the tape is going to go over your image. That's called layering. So you can't layer all at the same time. Okay. 
two more steps, y'all. Just two more steps. We're almost done. So I am going to gent gently peel this off. So what's that? A uh, warm peel, vinyl? What's y'all? What's the term y'all use? This is hot peel, but sometimes if you accidentally purchase the wrong one, it's okay. You just need to work with it. If you see that it's starting to come up just uh put it back down and reheat it you will learn how to work with what you have i have so many finger burns on my finger it's not even funny so this is what i was saying how close that is you want to make sure that it's actually good and that is good that is wonderful that is the ball just make sure uh oh i kind of rubbed it too much just make sure that the wrinkles are out of there Parchment paper only so I can see if there's any wrinkles. Hold it down and I can see. I just make sure that the wrinkles is out. Make sure that you cover up the vinyl that you've already peeled off because it's no protected on there and you don't want it to stick to your vinyl. You don't want it to stick to your heat press. Ready? Go. Let's go. And just for confirmation, 325 temperature for 25 seconds. Earlier I said minutes, seconds, seconds. And it's going to give it a whole nother look. Dum, 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 dum. Man, it's amazing how much better that color look once it's pressed. I was kind of worried. I didn't know because it was looking dull until you press that bad boy and bam. Well, what we're getting ready to do is do a final press to make sure that everything is down. Once we make sure that everything is down, that's sure to be good to go and your customer will be happy. So let's just go ahead and make sure I press everything down. Again, I'm going to cover it right back up. Make sure everything is covered up because I don't need it to stick to my uh, heat press. I don't need it to stick to my heat press. So just another 20 seconds, 25 seconds. And that's, that's it. It's going to be good to go. I'm going to pop it and let you see it. How we looking on time, babe? We went over, but it's all good. It's very informational, though. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna learn today? So you was worried about my color? You don't have faith in me, boy? Man, you know, like I say, I'm the man behind the camera. You the woman that makes it work, baby. You make it do what I'm it already, do. Already, already. Okay. Do not yank it off, but just kindly just peel it off. And bam, there you go. There you go. Bam. All okay. right, now hold it up for the camera, and we're getting ready to wrap this thing up. Wrap it up. Okay. Like I said, uh-oh, it's on the floor. Where we at? Pop it. Okay. So, thank you for thank you guys for tuning in to T-Mac Made It. This is the t-shirt. Make sure that you like, you share, you comment, and most of all, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.